everyone, it is sangria time. I'm getting it started about an hour ahead of time. Uh, so the fruit has a chance to soak up all the yummy goodness. Can't wait to see you guys here at six o'clock. We're gonna have so much fun. All right, so the sangria comes together pretty easy. I posted the recipe yesterday. If you've had a chance to look at it, then you um, have a sense of how yummy it is. Um, I've read over it a couple of times, though I gotta be honest with you, Sabrina has my tablet right now. So I'm gonna be doing this all from memory. Wish me luck, right? So it's gonna start, I'm gonna put everything together in my quick stir pitcher. I love this thing. Um, it's got this uh, plate at the bottom that helps to stir everything up. So it's gonna get all of our fruit and uh, alcohol and wine and all mixed up together. It's gonna be awesome. So I've got this sitting off camera here. I shipped over a little bit so you guys can see it. It's hanging out right there. All right. So in here, I'm going to put the seeds from one pomegranate into the drink there. To that, I'm going to add an orange that I've got sliced up. Lots of fresh fruity goodness in here. Um, here, I have a pear that I've sliced in half. And I'm gonna get, use the core and more to get those seeds out of there. Just like that. Get that little bottom part there. So just like that. <laughs> How awesome is that? There we go. So um, I'm gonna use my quick slice and I'm just gonna pop the pear right on there. Give that a twist. Sorry. <laughs> I very desperately need a new stand for my um, compute for my uh, phone here. So yikes! So I hope uh, no one's traumatized from that. Anyway, um, so I put the pear on the quick slice and got that quick slice done. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Woo. All right. So half the pear in there. The other half. Just like that. How awesome is that? Look at those beautiful slices of pear in there. I hope you're going to come tonight and help me drink this, Michelle. So, uh, I got a pear, pomegranate, seeds, and an orange in here. Then I'm going to put a half a cup of spiced rum. Yum, yum. And some maple syrup. Yeah, I said it, maple syrup. I'm using about a quarter of a cup, which luckily, that's about all I've got left in the house. So... Good grief. <laughs> All right, hope you're still there. I'm gonna have to find something else to kind of level this thing on because it is uh, not liking this can I've got back here. Hopefully, hopefully that'll stay. It's a little lopsided, but uh, hang with me a little bit longer. <laughs> It'll all come together in the end. Yet another reason why to enjoy the sangria later. Alrighty. So, got a half a cup of maple syrup in there. I'm gonna use this whole bottle of sangria. Now the recipe called for, I believe, a Chardonnay or a Savion Blanc. Um, we could go there. But I wanted to try the um, sangria. We kinda uh, add some additional flavors in here. This is a really good one. And it just pairs really well. The first time I had this uh, particular drink, it was with this uh, yellowtail sangria. So um, it really just was amazing. And yeah, we're gonna pour the whole bottle in there. There we go. Whole bottle, yay. And we're going to add three cups or two cans of ginger ale. And that gives it the sparkling effect. There we go. Now I'm gonna sit this in the fridge and let it chill. And we'll pour it over Mommy. ice when everyone gets here. It's gonna be amazing. Mommy. All right, got all of our ingredients in here. I'm just gonna put the top on and just use that plunger just to get everything all stirred around in there. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? I know you can see a little bit better. All that fruit. Yum. All right. So this is going in the fridge. And 
and we will see you in an hour. Bye. Oh, you wanted to come on camera, and you're not even going to wave bye-bye. Mm. Mm. All right, see you guys soon.